Hello, everyone. Good evening and good morning. It seems like the cards are already wanting to talk today, so I'm going to skip my usual spiel and go right into what the collective energy is going through right now. Um, as you know, a lot has been happening worldwide, but there are things going on um, beneath the scenes that are really starting to play out for us to see. Um, and it really tells us to go in and it's time to figure out where the truth is. Have that curiosity to find out more what's happening around you, whether it's just your workplace, your home life, or out in the world. Be curious, start looking for those answers, right? Because it's talking about nurturing all of your abilities, all your environment, and really starting to grow what you want to. And this is in finances, this is in career relationships. It's time to nurture yourself and face the truth of things. And sometimes that does require a little bit of, let's say, digging deep and facing some harsh truths. And when you face those harsh truths, sometimes we don't want to see them, especially when it's in ourselves, right? We don't want to always admit that we are wrong in situations or we weren't quite the best person. But if you go in now within this season, especially since it's a new moon today, if you're going in now and looking for that honest truth with inside you and how your truth is affecting your environment, you are going to start building the life that you finally want. Your wishes are going to come true. Your concerns fade away and then you're going to have more of an inspiration to live your life. But it all starts with looking at you and making that gesture to the universe saying, okay, I am ready to understand myself. And that means I'm ready to understand everyone else around me. And that for some people <laughs> um, is going to be like falling in love. For others, it's going to be wedding proposals or a new job career. But it starts with you. And so let's see what we have today. So we are waiting on a caller if we can um, see if we have any of those. But if not, let's see what else Spirit has to say today as far as the collective goes. Yeah, there is, as if anybody who has been watching the news lately, there has been quite a few things going on. Um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of people really worrying about their lives and things going on. Um, instead of watching all of the news, go inside a little bit more to see where you need to focus on yourself. Because when you fill up your own cup first, then you're able to help a little bit more if you are called to do a little bit for your neighbors who may have lost something recently. But just continue to work on um, that fear and anxiety that a lot of us are feeling bubbling up. Um, check on your neighbors. Be a little bit more compassionate if you're able to. Because everything that you're putting out in the universe, you are hoping create something. And something that is going to come back to you in a much more fulfilling way than what is currently going on. So remember that we are not trapped in the situations that we find ourselves in. And it's up to us to figure out how we are letting ourselves be stuck in situations. So look at that heart truth. And it looks like today we do have Shauna from Toledo. Okay. Hello, Shauna. How are you? I'm doing all right. Doing all right? All right. Have you ever yeah, had a tarot I'm reading? Right. <laughs> uh, I it is a little hard to hear you, so I'm going to do my best, okay? No, I don't know. If I, I think it's my speaker on my phone. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's your question? Are you able to hear Shauna? Okay. So it looks like we're having technical difficulties today. I mean, sometimes that happens. So I'll just go straight back into the collective message that we were doing um, because, you know, that's just how sometimes things go. Um, yeah, so expect good news on the way overall. 
Um, it may not seem like a lot right now, but because people are starting to work together, we are going through a transition, which is really going to change how we view each other in a society. Um, there may be some arguments here and there, especially, you know, with um, certain events in the U.S. coming up in November. But um, it's I really do see a lot of collaboration coming in a more positive way. Um, everyone has been work, working really hard just to survive. Um, and it seems like something's going to happen in more recent months. Is this just going to pull more people together and say, hey, it's time to do things a little bit differently. It's time to work on more spiritual growth um, and work on that intuition. That gut feeling that tells you right from wrong, um, changing your home inviting people into your home so just there's a lot going on in the collective and i do feel very hopeful for us as people coming together and helping each other because that's what we need in order to get through some of these times that are coming up um, because there are going to be some rough times if we've been watching it <laughs> but it's going to be okay all right, and we're going to try with another caller today. So we have Mandy in Texas. Hello. How are you, Mandy? Hi, I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, do you have any questions today? I'm going to try to get through as fast as possible, but we have less time than usual. Um, I was just wanting to see if you had any relationship advice or if you see anything as far as relationship. Are you currently in a relationship? No. Okay. So let's see, let's see. Do you have somebody on the horizon that you're thinking about, I should ask? Yes. Okay. So it looks like there's somebody here who seems to be pretty open-hearted, pretty compassionate, and a trustworthy person, someone that you probably knew for a while or they were in your life previously and now they're coming back. Um, it could be a friend, um, but you, you there's something familiar about this person. If you don't know them, there, there's something about them where you feel like you know them. Um, what it does seem, it doesn't seem quite time to do anything yet regarding it, though. Um, you're being asked to look inward a little bit because there's some well I'm gonna say there's a little bit of lack of confidence within yourself but you're coming out as this beautiful person who is balanced and coming into willing to receive and willing to give as well but there is just this little bit that's just like oh hey I'm not going to be able to find anyone or I'm worried that this is going to happen and so and so um so it is a little bit of a time period where, hey, okay, so look inward a little bit more, but you do have this person over here that's interested, that's coming in. Um, but there's also a kind of something like you're not wanting to make a decision. Are you deciding in between something right now? Uh, yeah, I kind of am, yes. All right. Yeah, with this decision coming forward, you need to take a sensible approach as it does have an opportunity to kind of like cause some trouble with others. So things that come in, try to be kind and understanding. Um, and there seems there will be a little bit of fear around that too. But yeah, what you were, the way you were currently going and what you're working on, that's not the best way that you could go. Um, so just keep that in mind. Look from things from other perspectives because what you're currently thinking of is it's not wise. <laughs> um, it's going to cause more conflict than you see on the surface. And I, from what I'm seeing from you, you don't necessarily want that. Maybe you want a little bit of confrontation just to get it over. But yeah, watch yeah. for that. Okay. That makes that a lot mean? of sense. <laughs> Good. Good. Um, yeah, so also you may get some news that changes your perspective. So just keep an eye out, keep an open mind. Don't necessarily take everything as truth. Just take it. Don't react immediately. Just take a moment and make your decisions because we don't want to go into this energy that I have right here um, and cause that kind of conflict. 
and okay yeah there seems to be like you're you're learning you're really learning something about this situation and that's very good how is this going to affect your romance because that's what we were currently talking about your lesson that you're um, learning. yeah go yeah. ahead oh i'm sorry go ahead uh, just the lessons that you are learning right now is um, helping you with objective decision making and helping you walk away from situations that and people that aren't right for you. Okay, so just take this time for myself and yeah, just a, okay, because there is going to be another person coming in who is a very motivated and a fiery person, very passionate and physical person um, coming in. And you are gonna be matching that energy. Um, so make sure that you are going into depth, make sure you learn your lesson now. So it's not just something that's um, completely surface level. If that's what you want, then you're, you'll have a great time with that person, but it's, um, it doesn't feel like that's exactly what you want, but you're learning the lesson now so you can avoid this situation with this person coming forward. Um, because as you're spending quiet time in meditation, right? Um, good. Yeah, I'm hearing from source um, to make a manifestation list of qualities of what you want in a relationship, how you want that relationship that you to work with. Um, I'm seeing someone coming forward who is creative, friendly, compassionate, and kind. Um, maybe even a little bit younger than you. So um, just be a little bit open, but you're allowed to dream that. And as you're dreaming that, right, um, that puts in this position of like, okay, I know what I deserve. I know what I'm willing to offer. Um, and I know the boundaries that I'm not going to push or I'm going to compromise on. So just take some time to yourself. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be months or years, just probably a um, couple of weeks to a month for you to really go in, learn your lessons um, because you have people okay. around you interested right now. So just keep an eye out, make good decisions and be sensible about decisions. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I hope you have a great day.